The shootings in Chicago, all shooting. Can't stop. If we step up, unidos, todo se puede. United, wrong and strong can do it. Let's get into this video. KB got a hit. It's Sean Frazier. Came in the game without a dime to my name. Uh -huh. Got some pounds in the change. Uh -huh. Got some pounds in the change. Uh -huh. Used to hang with killers who would Pow. let it bang. Yeah. Who would Pow. let it bang. Yeah. Who would Pow. let it bang. Yeah. Changing up the script. Had to change the way that I live. Uh -huh. Had to change the way that I build. No more powder in them seals. No more stacking up them kills. Gotta take care of my kids. Wasn't easy paying those bills. I could feel the weight of my chest. I gave it all my best. Only pounds I move when I bitch. Only pounds I move when I lift. I got back up and I flex. I got tired of hitting that deck. Feeling bullets with my head. Savage tattoo on my face. Gotta thank God for his grace. Make time for my bank. Gotta take time when I pray. Legal money all in my bank. I ain't got time to be fake. Took the gang all across the Try to help. Hey guys, what's up? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, mi pandilla, you already know. Subanse a la suburban. Let's get this video on the road. What's up, guys? It's always sad in Chicago, and I'm pretty sure you guys heard about it already. The Chicago police actually captured one of the sh uh, shooters and the killing of the seven-year-old Jocelyn Adams. Jocelyn was killed on a Sunday afternoon while she was sitting in a drive-thru at McDonald's with her father. A McDonald's worker told the police that two men exited a car at about 3 p.m. and opened fire, hitting the car repeatedly more than 50 times. Jocelyn was struck several times and her father was hit once in the torso. As you guys can see, all the shell casings, they shot a lot of times. And this was pretty much a hit. You know, on the news, they're talking about how the father has a lot of, you know, felonies, drug arrests, and he has gang ties. and. And yeah, that, that area right down Roosevelt is a heavily gang area. There's a lot of vice lords over there. There's, there's four corner hustlers. But like I said on my last video, it's like uh, we, should, we start pointing the finger at, at everything and anything. And we, we just lost a, another child to the same thing we've been talking about. The whole gun violence. It doesn't matter if it's... Uh, you know, a cop or if it's a gang member, it, it's all the same thing. They're all, they're killing our kids. And this has been happening in Chicago for many, many, many years. And I, I think it, it's, it's, it's time to at least try to put a stop to it. The cops are saying that it was a hit on her father because of the gang ties. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of gang activity in that area and there's a lot of cells, smaller cells in that area fighting over control and hoods. Um, I've talked about this before in one of my videos, but Chicago has this thing where they, everybody locates you by, by your car. Everybody knows who you are by your car. It, you know, and, and you might say, well, you know, there's, there's a lot of cars that look the same, no, like, They'll, they'll distinguish your car by a scratch or something, the color, and that's how they find you, that's how they bump into you in traffic, and that's how they look for you, and they're ready to go. 90% of these dudes that are living on the streets and are living that life are carrying guns and riding around with them. It's very, very sad because these kids you know, innocent kids, innocent kids, you know, losing their lives and these are these are supposed to be our, our future, our future angels. 
when I when I was a saint disciple and I had to go pick up my daughter to Crown Town, this happened to me once when I picked her up and I right as I was leaving, I heard a shot, but I really didn't think nothing of it. And it wasn't until I got home and I was pulling my daughter out of the car that there was a gun hole in the trunk. I've said it before, Chicago is, is a, yes, beautiful, beautiful city, but it's also a very, very tough, ruthless city. And unfortunately, we have a big issue right now with a lot of these kids riding around with guns, shooting at each other like video games, you know, 50 shell cases. It's, it's crazy, it's crazy. And this is what I mean about a lot of the guys that have made it out the hood, it's time to like step back a little bit and help somebody else get out of there. So that way it, it becomes a bigger movement to try and help. You can't send suits in to fix our neighborhoods. You can't. You gotta send the same people that made it out back in. And that's how it has to be done. Don't let these kids die in vain for no reason. And if you are in the game, I ask you to be more responsible that if you are in the game, be careful with your kids. Be careful where you are, be careful what you do. And I'm only saying this, I'm not talking shit about nobody, I'm only saying this because I lived that life and I know what it is. I used to have to drive almost an hour and a half just to get away from the city to take my kids to a movie so nobody would recognize me in Fort City, Riverside, <laughs> you name it. So I know, that's why I'm just, I'm just saying, be careful, if you know you're in the game, you know you're doing dirt, be careful with your kids, man. And for all you knuckleheads out there running around with guns in your things, thinking that you're gangsters and thinking that you're untouchable, trust me, I've seen prison cell break the most toughest motherfuckers on lockdowns. Trust me. My name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live. Live it out here free. Enjoying your life. Enjoying your life every day. I love you guys.